which I trust continue. Continue never steers you wrong until it does. Until it does. Someone in the comments say I look like this one character from Game of Thrones, which is a compliment, but also she was the character that they made look ugly on purpose, so I don't know how I feel. What? So you have mixed emotions about that. All right, so what were we doing? Social media. By the way, um, Rylar, I just saw you there. Um, Azari just went to the post office uh, after not being there for a bit. And uh, we found your holiday card. So thank you so much for sending it. We just got it. Um, and I just wanted to share this with the, uh, the otters. Yeah, it did make it. It did. I, and I'm so sorry that we didn't see it until this week. This is my first time actually opening it. But look look what she included. Look what she painted. She painted one of the rots from uh, Cana Bridge of Spirits. That's so good. Thank you so much. This is super sweet. Merry Christmas, Bogazaria, Mini Otters, and Mr. Fizzgig. I hope 2021 has been less of a step down from 2020. Uh, thank you for all the laughs and fun while I dealt with my own stuff. I don't think you ever got your Viking hat in Kana, so here it is. One for you, best Rylar. Did I never get the Viking hat? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they have one, right? I was asking for one the whole playthrough. But you spelled your name wrong. It's Rylar R R. You're supposed to be Rylar R R R R R R. No, but thank you seriously so much for, uh, for sending the card. Did you paint this too? I know you paint burbs. Did you paint that too? That's yours too? That's awesome. And you had it printed on the card? That's great. Amazing. Amazing. So much talent in the Ottoman Empire. So much talent. Yeah, I don't think there was one either. See, they needed the Viking helmet. They needed that. All right. Let's figure out what we're doing. Just loud burbs. You don't see me. You do see me. Oh, come on. I don't want to fight. Can I get out of here before we fight? I'm running away because I'm a chicken. Where do we need to go for our next... Uh... Big quest is way over here. So let's go here. Here we go. Hey, Anakin, how's it going? I'm worth a thousand cookies and more. What kind of cookies? Happy Friday. How you doing? Okay, so yesterday we did some main story. And uh, what we're going to try to do now, we're going to try to infiltrate a secret Eclipse base and crash their focus network so that they can stop communicating with each other. And uh, I prefer the one about the helmet. let's see if this works. Do I have enough materials to make this work all right i have three skills here let's do strike from below and then if we get three more points i can do leader strike um how's our inventory looking take all those and craft some ammo here i don't think i need those all right, good. I have a lot of blaze. All 
All right, let's do it. Hey, Wet Fox Gaming, how you doing? What did you miss? You remember a large metal scary bird? Big... Well, you didn't miss anything today, but we are going to head over here and try to infiltrate the Shadow Karja and the Eclipse's big base. Let's see how this works. If you don't see a single generous reward box in For Forbidden West, you'll be fine with that. Yeah, these generous uh, reward boxes and and remarkable reward boxes, they're really nothing super special, are they? Really not that special. Make way! Ah. Out of the road! Ugh. Are they standing right in the way? That does not seem smart. Yeah, hopefully they adjust the whistle volume in Forbidden West. It's kind of atrocious. Wow, look at that shot of Meridian. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Though I, I don't know if I'd be that comfortable with that much weight going to the very edges of a plateau like that you know like how sturdy would that be i don't know it's a video game so we'll suspend disbelief i don't know how believable that is as i'm riding a giant riding a giant robotic bull mark my words all right what is bright market bright market is going to be yep i knew it it's teeming with side quests trying to rope me in i'm not gonna do them i'm not gonna do them i am not gonna do them Well, the Sundom is like 500, 600 years old, so I guess it's pretty sturdy. I guess. I don't know. It doesn't It doesn't seem safe to me. By the way, I, people need to come out here. This is like a super nice town. Like, look at the, look at the architecture in this. This place is awesome. Don't let your guard down. All right, where's the uh, vendor? Like for sale. I promise. Like what I have for sale. I promise. These aren't goods, they're necessities. These aren't goods, they're necessities. You know what I'm here for? I'm here for my free sample box. And to sell. We're gonna sell a bunch of things. It's probably only gonna be a couple things. Then why did you say that it was a bunch? Now go away and eat your dinner and your lunch. Da -da -da -da. My God. My God. Only okay. the finest goods here. See for yourself. All right, I'm not going to pick up the side quests because then I'll be tempted. I mean, I've ridden a robotic bull before. True, that's not as far-fetched as uh, what immediately we would immediately think, right? Actually, out of all the animals, mechanical bull is... Uh... What? What? Turkey had two lives. Hi, RFD. How's it going, RFD? Happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday to you. It's Friday! I know. And Saturday, Sunday, what? Uh, 
like this one, I don't need a whistle. Saved. Holy oh. moly! I'm out of here. Let's go. Go, go, go. Oh, that is not good. This is... This is not great. I whiffed. Shocking development. Exact same thing happened to you here. You just get knocked off your mountain, destroyed. Yeah, that was pretty wild. When that one single cup of coffee saves the afternoon from tiredness. Yeah, I don't really have that much of an effect. Like I love my That's coffee, but I, see here. I think consistently having three cups a day has lessened its individual impact. I'm sure if I stopped it all together, I would notice the lack of it. But as far as noticing the effects, not really. Blasphemy, stop coffee. Oh, I have no plans to. I mean, they could, like, have a new study come out and be like, well, coffee has been proven to cause bleeding from both eyes. And I'd be like, with it. I like the blood from my eyes. I know. A lot of people talk about headaches when they go through caffeine withdrawal. Oh, absolutely. I've done. I've. I've. I've gone through it a bit. And uh, went back. <laughs> oh, that's better. Um, we're kind of taking a roundabout way, but hey, at least we got a. A new save point. Literally just opening different parts of the map. We're getting closer to the Forbidden West, aren't we? Seventy-three, 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 seventy-three. Goofy! Oh, Godger, hey, well, I missed the start of the stream playing too much Vampire Survivors. Played three hours and didn't even realize... It's, 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 it's something, isn't it? Thank you for the 73 months. That game can get your claws in you real bad. Just one more run. Just one more run. Well, you're not ordinary. Do I have a whole set? No. The farthest west this map goes is Utah. Oh, yeah. You finally did a 25 minute run. Nice. Nice. Unfortunately, I've uh, done all the achievements in the game now, so I have to wait for them to come out with patches. Did I beat the game as the hidden character? Which hidden character? M Dash or uh, the other one? 
Aloy, you're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. True. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. Yeah. I'd be mad if I were her, too. I'd be tempted to take my, uh, my focus off a lot if Silence was constantly just piggybacking on my information, you know? Like he does. Yeah. The other one, please do tell. Um, yeah, there's another hidden character in Vampire Survivors, but it, it, it requires you to edit a text file, um, that is part of the game so that you can make one of your abilities overpowered so that you can actually kill the final boss. If you kill the final boss by like pumping your garlic to do like a million damage a pulse, um, and you beat the game, and you beat that boss, then you unlock the boss character. And the boss character gets completely randomized stats every single run. And it can swing to like negative 100 to plus 100. And it can like totally be like a terrible character or an amazing character. But yeah. So I didn't I didn't unlock that. Because um, it sounds like, it feels like a character that will unlock when they eventually allow you to beat the boss naturally. Maybe? I don't know. But in any case, it's it requires you to cheese the game a little bit so but no i haven't to answer your adverse's question no i haven't beaten vampire survivors with uh woods with m dash roots and trunks does that unlock anything that's not an achievement yet does that unlock anything though michelle walks in on pumping garlic yes pump up your garlic pump up your garlic You trying to stretch that 299 as much as you could? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like playing the hyper modes, right? You don't have to do the hyper modes to unlock anything, but I'm actually almost, I got to like 26 or 27 minutes on hyper library. Yes, last night. <clears throat> Creating op optional challenges, you know? All right, let's see if we can get in on this story there mission. The handholds, right where you said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. Uh, I knew she'd comment on his name at some point. <laughs> you're working on locking all the power-ups so you're OP when the content arrives? Yeah, right. I, I've done what that now? too, a little bit. You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. What night falls, we'll talk. I still have a fire to keep me company. Hey, so what's going on? All right. It's a long way to come just for a campfire. Now, just to catch up on anybody on what we're about to uh, learn about. That crevice leads. Shh, stop talking, please. Um, so last time we learned, uh, and this is spoilers for the original game. So if you haven't played the original game and you care about spoilers, this is your spoiler bunker warning. Um, what we learned on this playthrough uh, yesterday was uh, that, you know, about a thousand years ago, uh, a company basically automated uh, uh, ro robotic weapons that were self-sustaining, self-duplicating, and fueled itself on biomaterials, plants, and animals, and humans. <laughs> And uh, it broke loose and they couldn't control it. So they contacted uh, Elizabeth Sobeck, who is a top uh, scientist. And the only thing she can come up with was something called uh, Project Zero Dawn. And it seems from what we uncovered yesterday that Zero Dawn was a way to kind of preserve humanity, but it didn't save humanity. And they actually got a lot of people around the world to fight for this, you know, this enduring freedom 
mission to see what Project Zero Dawn could accomplish. And really, it was just a slaughter trying to stall time so that they could finish this project. But we don't know what Project Zero Dawn is yet. And I think we're going to find that out soon. So that's where we are right now. Okay. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified climb the tall neck grafted into the top of its disc you'll find a module of sorts destroy that and the focus network will crash oh nice so you were part of the eclipse i've never been part of anything i serve my own interests always but it is the case that i assisted the eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. It is a little weird to get up in the face of a hologram. It's not really too threatening <clears throat> now, is it? It's not the most threatening thing you can do is like get up all in the, the holodeck's face. <laughs> Hologram's face. It's like, you know I'm incorporeal, right? You pass right through me. <laughs> All right. You can't tell if silence is evil or not. Right now, he seems nothing but neutral. He says he's always in it for himself, right? He's meant to be an ambiguous character. Let's see what's through here. At least at this point in the story. Corrupted machines. Patrolling like guards. More like soldiers. Held in reserve for a war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. This is the easy way in? The back way in. I didn't say it would be easy. He didn't say it would be easy. me they see me they see me I've been spotted what did that what did you just do Did they lose me? How fantastic. That did not do enough damage. Down you go. go through things. <laughs> he don't fail me now. Kill me. 
Oh my goodness. I can get out of this. Hey, Oblivious Goblin, what's up? Oh, what an entry. All right, does it show on the map where we are? Okay, so we're all the way over here. So yeah, forbidden. the expansion is gonna be over here, I guess. What's over there? I don't know, it's forbidden. I'll tuck that away. Just wondering, is the hologram played by the same voice actor as Zavala? It was also in Quantum Break and John Wick. I'm not sure. It's The name of the character is Silens. S-Y-L-E-N-S. Uh, L-E-N-S. L-E-N-S. Yeah, is that the same, Cassie B? All right, nice. Makes me so sad that I can silence strike and it barely does any damage. What am I stuck on? Oh, a big tree. Wow, my sling keeps like blasting myself back. There we go. Level 39. One skill print. Oh, is he in Destiny 2 uh, as well, Airwolf? Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. <sighs> Should I try to just get past these guys? You know how well this is going to work, right? I can actually sprint while stealthing, which is pretty amazing. Getting close now. Head for that ridge. Ruffles have ridges. It's like, what did I see? You saw nothing. Yeah, cue the Mission Impossible music. That's right. Dumb. Bow, 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 bow. Bitterly, bitterly. I'm sugar plum fairies. You saw nothing. He saw it because I jumped. <laughs> Get up there! Aloy, what are you doing? Oh, here we go. I gotta go here first. Okay. Could you do with the jump, please? Uh. There you go. Do the climbing thing now, please. Thank you. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmitter's been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. <laughs> Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. 
And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. But sarcasm is my speciality. It's my scientific speciality. Dragon270, thanks for following a few minutes ago. You know what? Silence is right, though. Like, she, she's got all this attitude, and that's not going to help her on the mission. If, if she doesn't want to do the mission, she should back out. If she's in the mission, then the sarcasm is wasted, you know? He left his post to eat his fill. Needless to say, we taught him the error of his ways. Yeah, you sure did. You taught him the error of your ways for sure. The error of your ways. The error of your ways. Scrabbling a bit. The machines show us the way. No pity, only desolation. Oh, no health potion. Okay, fine. He left his post to eat his fill. Needless to say, we taught him the error of his ways. Who are you talking to? Good. Oh, oh, uh oh. Okay, and then we just got this one elite, which I can't, I can't the assassinate. Stronger, bathed in shadow. I can't they assassinate him until I get this ability. I need two more points. Anyone Leader strength. I should have knocked multiple arrows at once. I forgot I could do that. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh, good. Another secret. Okay. Voice logs. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcome me to the marital bed. How after, Don't say marital bed. I asleep. I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its fragility. Must be Italian. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed. How its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body, stretched beside mine, seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Cool story. It sounded like somebody who was like trying to be like poetic and romantic and profound, but like missing the mark. 
know, maybe, maybe. Never does the sun show pity. Is it the same guy? And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. Same guy again? When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I trembled. Was I not the chosen of the sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness. Oh, this is healing. It's not my place to destroy this devil. But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy and said, Right, my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. The whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the wheel of time would require more than sun and faith. All forces must combine. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn. For without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. All right, so this is from Heal. This is giving the backstory on Helis, who is now the the leader of the Shadow Karja. He was uh you know, the Mad King, the old Sun King who uh, used to rule and basically sacrifice and slaughter people. This guy was like one of his top, you know, loyalists. And then when his own son murdered the Sun King and took over Meridian, this guy splintered off with the Shadow Karja, Karja went out here and established like this base and uh, stuff like that. So they're giving you the backstory of the big bad, basically. My lord, the 13th king of the Karja Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Hey, Smoke Scully. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Osaram filth toppled the battlements and burst the gates, I would have fought to the end. But it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to sunfall. There. We joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. Okay. The buried shadow. So long as King Itaman languishes at sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him. But the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring. But he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, this guy, it is absolute. This guy was the bad influence then, huh? One On the king? it nurtures life, and the next scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a sun king must follow. The example of your father. Oh, he's talking about the sun. Ah, uh, okay. Before my instruction could take hold, she was there. The mother. Clutching him to her robes. The mother's son. Burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? Okay, so Edaman is the one that's ruling right now, then. Is that his name? I forgot what his name was, but, um, so yeah, so Helis tried to corrupt the son because he knew eventually that he would be the new Sun King, and it was, it was the mother that shielded him. This guy's trying to show this kid, like, sacrifices and stuff, and trying to make him watch? That's terrible. Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare. 
the same reality. Holy Meridian, in the hands of profligates, debased. The spire, towering above the horizon like in a glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure, but the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken, the profligates slaughtered, a true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. Okay. Don't make any noise. Did it. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tall neck? Would not have been easy to drag the tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. Climb it. It feels wrong. Everything here is raw. Just get to the module and destroy it. He's very pushy. All right, climb the tall neck. Destroy the thingy. How did they drag it all the way down here? It's gonna be no module. There's no module. I see the module. Oh, I see the module. Good. Now be quick. He's like Twitch this, chat. I know he's back seated. This is Hades. Aloy, this is not the time. It's a metal devil. Open the module's casing now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Uh oh. Entity has come here. Entity miscalculated. Entity. Cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are, but this isn't. Nice. Destroy the entity. Run. Oh, that's that's bad. Uh. Maybe at least he uh, destroyed the whole tower for us. Nice grip. Keep moving or you'll die. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. Ow. A brave trail. Keep moving. I'm moving. See what happens when you rush me, silence. Oh man. Keep moving. Keep moving, or you'll die. Oh. Moving. I don't know where yeah, I'm going. Think? Where am I going? That's not where I go. That's not where I go. Keep running. Just keep swimming. No way. Keep moving. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? I like to take a nap. Uh, oh, I wouldn't go over easy. here. Uh, can you please go? Are you kidding me? 
You're kidding me right now. Almost there. Ugh, what? Smooth. Run, don't fight. Hey! Are you kidding me? Head left towards the camp. Got it. Woo! Almost out of it. The That's whole what? base is on high alert. Yeah, I noticed. I just like hurting them a little bit. Keep moving. Watch out, there's more ahead. Cancel the search. Hi. Oh, I killed one. <laughs> Bridge in sight. That's the way out. I know. Wait a minute. Wait. Is there anything to grab before I leave here? I'm glad I died there. Is there, is there, do I have to grab something in this mission for, um, the power cores? Oh, come on. Before I jump down, does anybody know? I only have four power cores. Is it this quest? No, not this one. Not to curse the darkness. That guy talking to you, voice actor, is always pushy. He loves voicing people like that. Uh, 100%, I'm in the clear. I don't need the fifth power cell from here, yeah? Oh, okay. Thank you. Don't fight. Okay. It's later. Oh, come on. Head left towards the camp. Got it. Almost out of it. The whole base is on high alert. Yeah, I noticed. The whole Keep base. Running. He's literally like the whole base is on higher oh, alert. She's like, out. more uh, eclipse. She's like I know I've been dying. Bridge in sight. That's the way out. I know. Oh. Yes, bleeding fish. We got that one. I only need one more. Hey, Cybug. All the cores are in place to re return to. Yeah, I know, but I want to make sure I just get it during the mission so I don't have to backtrack. I only need one more. You're okay, Eloy. Just rub some dirt on it. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what he we just want. just moves on. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. I'm we both I like your logic. Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. Okay. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. Deep Secrets of the Earth. Is that the mission where, uh... We're gonna see? The uh, power core that I've been trying to get. I think I miss having the hunter bow, even though I don't have a good one. Last core is super late in the game. Okay. I think I feel like we are getting fairly late in the game in terms of uh, the main story. I know I haven't done the DLC yet.
So Deep Secrets of the Earth. I don't think I'm doing any of, any of that other stuff now. All right, let's go head up there. Almost the last mission? Okay. All right, we didn't actually really expend much resources doing that mission. There's more running away. Sneaking around. Campfire discovered. A lovely! So nice! Final power cell and big reveal come in all one fell swoop. Okay. Do you know the name of the mission that it's... That it's... That you can get it on? Uh, machines. Ooh. Well, hello. It's a rock breaker after all. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to uh, stay or stick around here. Oh, what is that? I forget what I need to do to stop these guys. Oh, is there two of them here? Oh, hell no. Hell no. What was that thing I was searching, though? Hide metal shards. It would expend all my resources, like, destroying them. And I have no, uh, no immediate need for that, so. <laughs> what is all that noise? On the bull again. You're not a fan of the rock breakers? Oh, you know what? I'll, they, they, That'd be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. All the uh, the end tier machines are very tough in different ways, you know? So they can be frustrating, especially when they burrow. But as you weaken them down and knock parts off, they become easier to manage. Just. They're not making me kill them for a quest, then I don't need to do it right this second. Was that a Banuk statue up there? Yeah. Sunfall. The Mad King Duran Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. There are children in the we will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. All right, Sunfall. So the Mad King used to vacation here in the summer. That's what it sounded like, right? Oh, we got side quests. 
side quests. Let's see what this. I'm not gonna actually commit is to doing it, but let's see what it is sick? actually. If your home no longer exists as you remember it. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. I remember this quest. She's actually. a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana, my sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. Territory? He's territory. Difficult. His soul is in shadow. His soul is in shadow. Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Shh. He did say territory weird, right? I'm not... I'll keep the moon from your brow. I'm not imagining that. Territory. Territory. All right, let's go. What are they doing over here? Drills? Oh, it's morning yoga. Okay, good. Outlanders are idiots, but perhaps they're... Outlanders are idiots? Is that what you just said? Ugh. Just don't touch anything. Touch your face. I will touch your face. Whatever work the mercenaries are doing, at least... He insulted me. Uh, free sample box. Thank you. Any resources we are in need of? We're at 112 of 120. What do I need to sell? Watch your hearts. We'll mark that. We'll mark this the glass. What else? We'll mark that and that. Too many watcher lenses. Too many people causing too many problems. And I don't need that many sparkers. And probably not that many chill waters. We're up to 1608. Traps and potions. Wow, he didn't flinch, I know. It's almost like he's got plot armor. Oh, I remember this. I remember something with an arena. The Sun Ring. A proud tradition of the Kaja. It's not like this in Meridian. At least. Give them time. I'm sure they missed. Working hard. Keep it up. Okay. Let's take a look at these wares. Oh, that's where I just came from. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. What are you talking about? Did I crash the network or not? In theory, all should be well. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. It's the sun. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, security. Oh! They stabbed me. I like how he didn't know if the network was down or not. And she was like, what do you mean? Through gritted teeth. What are you talking about? What do you mean the network might still be operational? I'm afraid the shield deflector will be perfectly operational when your friends arrive. About today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. 
For you. Don't, Don't take bother me, shots. Outlander. Even All the bounties are announced in the throne the rooms. I hear the Shadow Conjurer looking, looking for one of them. old enough to catch her death well. and chill. What are you waiting around for, Outlander? What are you waiting Bounties around for? I've got Cookie Monster. Don't start thinking you're welcome here. You're only tolerated. I'm only tolerated, huh? Okay. I... Nice hat. By the glory of the sun revealed, behold, radiant Edaman. The one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. Oh, this is Edaman. Oh. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. That is the, so. The, so the, the jerk has been trying to corrupt the kid, and the mother is trying to help. So they're they're trying to use what the a, a brother. Are they trying to depose the Sun King and Meridian with the use of the kid brother? Okay. Now I remember this. All right. I had no memory of this whole plot line before just now. By the will of Radiant Edaman, does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? So hmm. the ire of Love the your hair. Full blaze. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little huntress. The green tent king. down in Shadowside. But he refused I'll to be waiting. When kind of busy. And fled. And in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety of the We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see Go me forth, then, while there's still time to save him. Do the will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First Another time in savage. the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on already. high. This is a side quest. Talk to Vanasha. I'm assuming that's not time sensitive, even though they made it Kestrels. sound time sensitive. Ha! Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. It's a nice, convenient little footpath. La 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 la. Allah! Okay. That was almost really bad. Where are we going from here? Oh, am I going down? Oh, I am going down. Oh. Oh. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. Okay. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Okay. Is this some sort of... I mean, I can go back and do side quests and stuff after this, right? This isn't some big point of no return, I'm assuming. Right? I think I'm good, though. He made me all nervous. He made me like, oh, do I have enough stuff? All right, let me make some ammo. I think we're good. Maybe find a save first? I can't. I, already, I saved it fairly recently, but all right, let's try it. Screw it. You 
You Googled it when you played I'm it, you can? Down. Okay. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Identiscan. Multipass. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Easy as goblin pie. Malfunction. Uh -oh. Malfunction. Are you Malfunction. Kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? Yes! I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yeah? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. But that smelled good. I underestimated you. Think by now I. Oh no. Guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now will you please get moving? <laughs> yes, yes, whatever. There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Okay, Luke, we're gonna have company. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn, we found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures, attempting repair. So what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Can you repeat the question? Project Zero Dawn. Sound like the Peanuts teachers, right? The adults in the Peanuts uh, cartoons. Another incident. This morning's unfortunate incident with Dr. Popovich is another example of reception's need to additional support. We appreciate that Zero Dawn is an immensely complicated project, but as the staff who serve on the front line, we're tired of being neglected. As we've already requested, we need human translators fluent in Polish, for example, security staff who can subdue enraged embryologists, for example, and dermal sedatives to calm persons who are screaming in Polish while hurling chairs and vases at reception staff, for example. Yes, most of the candidates are reasonably calm and well-behaved, but we need help handling the exceptions to that rule. Please respond. Reception staff continues to require additional support managing ZD candidates when they arrive in the facility. Many are frightened or confused. Some are highly agitated. That's right. They kidnapped a whole bunch of people's, right? And brought them for this project. This is literally like an extinction level event. So they took whatever means and measures necessary. These are not the sort of persons who are accustomed to having information withheld from them. At minimum, we need human translators. The Langbots are not sufficient and mild sedatives for the extreme cases and... Any and all support would be welcome. Perhaps you could start by responding, responding to one of these emails. Okay. I like how we're stuck in reception, though we know we have a limited amount of time. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. Oh, can I have a, a Yoohoo? I need a Yoohoo. Kidnapped is such an ugly word. We prefer extracted. 
That's hilarious. Restock or else. For the fifth time, please restock the lounge selection of herbal teas. If I have to listen to one more egghead, throw a tantrum because we're out of the organic cucumber mint or blackberry sage varietals. I am going to lose it. Please respond. And this time, no tempest in a teapot or steep demand jokes. Okay. That's good. Steep demand. Can't carry more. Soundproofing. Would it be possible to improve the soundproofing between VR1 and the lounge area? Many of the candidates stay quiet during the presentation, but the ones who scream or sob can be plainly heard by candidates waiting for their turn in the lounge. Just a thought. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Okay, so this is this is what people that were coming here would be going through, right? So People get extracted from all over the world, brought here, specialists in their field, you know, some of the best minds, scientists, mathematicians, all that kind of stuff. They're brought here for some save the world project zero dawn. And then they go through and they listen to this movie here. Or hologram or whatever this is going to be. What? what was this place? A holographic theater. ZD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of gift. innocents to sacrifice the themselves the in eyes. battle. Thank you. Why? One reason. Thank you. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Mana Dryad. Appreciate that. Thank you for gifting a sub to Axelrod. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. Hmm. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. 76 I've months? Gotta keep oh. Find out how she did it. Thanks, Alaska, for the 76 months. Thanks for the resub. 
All right, it's pretty pretty uh, big bomb drops there. We we suspected through the things that we were able to read and gather that it was uh, all the people fighting to try to hold out for time. It was not for uh, not for anything good. Um, but now we're gonna figure out what Elizabeth Sobek's plan was. All right, uh, just give me one second.